लव इज द अर्ज टू मूव टूवर्ड्स दैट ग्रैटिट्यूड इज द लाइटनेस दैट यू कीप एक्सपीरियंसिंग एज यू मूव टूवर्ड्स दैट Love is what brings Sudama to Krishna. Gratitude is what Sudama feels as he keeps coming closer to Krishna. And as he returns after meeting Krishna. Out of these obviously love will come first you love him you move close to him he showers his bounties upon you gratitude arises but obviously love cannot be in expectation of bounties hmm? and that also explains gratitude gratitude says i did not even want it or dream of it and i still am receiving it how fascinating i don't even deserve it and that i am being blessed with it to distribute it gratitude is the realization that you have something beyond your capacity beyond your eligibility once you are grateful you stop measuring others on the eligibility scale just as you received something irrespective of your eligibility similarly you start distributing to others irrespective of their eligibility because you are so many hmm even here i have to speak in two languages you are so many that different words different names are needed and if there are 800 crore of you currently alive then how many names and how many definitions and forms will be needed god is one but you are many therefore gods are many So there is no difference mm-hmm. for you there is a lot of difference yeah there was like each one is there was yes but now should i try to understand the commonality and the singularity that all of them present the singularity is there whether you understand it or not not do you want to understand it i wanted some normal dal and my hotel tells me that normal dal with a bit of spinach in it is palakura pappu <laughs> and i have been so fascinated by this word palakura pappu <laughs> while driving the car i was singing of it <laughs> palakura pappu it's just dal dal palak palakura pappu <laughs> just a little bit of distance and dal palak becomes palakura pappu hmm and god is so very distant from the common egoistic human being obviously there would be a great diversity in names are there any other any simpler like more direct ways of remembering the zen way is there but it is very direct 
it is as direct as a stick straight and forward then teachers had very great respect for time they would not even waste time in explaining so many of them would simply beat up that is the way of instant remembrance for the forgetful mind